Hello YouTube, welcome to AI Corp, where we're making 70 limiters per minute and 45 high speed connectors per minute. Now, I know that doesn't sound a lot, but we're looking at the design aspect of the buildings with this series, how I've designed it, how I've approached it. So we're not looking at um, mass production here, we're just looking at producing some things within each building and aiming for the design aspect of it. So as you can see, we have the waterfall in the center of the building and all the building was made around it. So without further ado, let's start looking at the train station at the bottom. So it doesn't go anywhere at the moment, um, but we'll talk about that in a little while. So this is where the train station is going to leave from. So we have an entrance at this end to the main bit and then the actual train station. I've tried to keep all the surroundings in with the build once again. There's a train ends here. We have the sign for AI Corp. That's another entrance to the main floor. And you can get round this area here where the input is to the train. And Dono just built this here. Just so you can see the items coming in. In fact, let's just dock that train real quick so we can get things going. So I like this part here. I wanted to keep this part next to where the items came into the train. So I fed it down to the bottom and round and it's fed underneath that floor there. And once that train's finished loading, it should start going again. There we go. So I put slow belts here because there's no rush to get them filled up. But as you can see, they come down both sides where the bottom of the waterfall is. So if we go to the entrance, this takes us upstairs. Little viewpoint there of the uh, train. And then as we get upstairs, we have uh, like a, a metal detector as we walk through. <laughs> Place your baggage here. And this brings you into the main hall. So this is um, like a little area for staff and things like that. There's not much really to see in here, just unfinished little area, but it says pioneers only. This is the main lobby. So we had that entrance there with the metal detector and we've got one at this side. And then again, this giant mushroom thing, I've tried to incorporate it in with the build because you can't destroy them anyway. And we have a little seating area. And little seats made out of signs. And these uh, lanterns going across, which I thought looked really nice there. And then these columns here is where the items are coming down if you look just over there, that's the bottom floor where we just was. The items are still coming in. And then I had the waterfall here, so I weren't sure what to do with it. So um, since it's an artificial intelligence corporation, uh, I've put a programmable splitter down and just some advertisements as if it's a, a showcase area the bottom of the waterfall didn't really know what else to do there so from this floor now we can go up again over here some more showcases of different splitters um, and then we have this chandelier type thing that I tried to incorporate with the spire like spike thing sticking out so I've added some like little hanging lanterns on it to make it look a bit like a chandelier which I think turned out all right 
and then it takes you up here and we take a little detour through this area and I like the, how this mushroom kind of gives us a seal in here and this takes you up oh there goes a the drone to the next floor um, we have a sign here giving directions somewhat directions you know go up for maintenance down for train station goods in and out which is the drone area which I'll show you shortly and then the entrance where we've just been and then false chamber this way which we're about to look at in a second I tried to uh, do something different with walls here um, walls are very boring in this game they're very plain and simple so I've tried to add some bits and pieces to the wall just to decorate it up a bit as you can see we've got hypertube holes we've got beams connectors lifts power boxes all sorts of things on there just to see if we could get a design going um, I did more on this side here this room here is just another maintenance area didn't really know what to do in there but if, you, if I come up with an idea or you come up with an idea we can add it later so this is another showcase area um, just because it was a lot of space nothing really to put in it uh, all the buildings are much further up uh, for the uh, limiters and the high-speed connectors but again just decorating the walls here trying to make them look a bit nicer than normal and we have the entrance here to the waterfall which is very bright at the minute but the signs the windows and walls tried to get them as close as I could you can see there's a it's quite a bit of thickness there to that wall with there being three different things there but yeah this is the entrance in to the uh, main waterfall room we have AI Corp sign up there and as you can see this the waterfall comes right down the center of the building through the floor right down to the bottom which gives us this room which I quite enjoy is probably the biggest focal point of the room and then as we go through here this brings you out to the drones this is where all the goods in and goods out is of drones landing dropping stuff off taking stuff out um, but the AI limiters and the high-speed connectors will be going from the train at the bottom and I like how these connect underneath make a nice little corridor so I thought I'll add a little balcony on each end don't really go anywhere or do anything which they could later if I do another build somewhere I could probably connect this up but yeah, this is. I just like the idea of not having a stone wall and a roof and a stone wall. I like this kind of design. I like how you can see through it and everything. It'd be nice if they added more props like this to put on walls. Let's just back up a bit. There's eight drone ports uh, because this build requires a lot of quick wire. So that's the back of the building fly straight over here and then we can go up again which again on both sides you get a little balcony of where you've just been just showing you some of the floors and then you can go up again to this part you get to see the waterfall there through the glass and it goes up again this floor I did some balconies at the front of the building so you can oversee the spire coast uh, there's one at each side so to fly over this side there's one here and then again it's more about designing this area but this is where the maintenance is for all the structural buildings all the limiters and the AI uh, the AI limiters and the connectors so I did these windows here as well just to break the monotony of this wall up 
Um, can't move right in that gap. Looks very good in the elevator. So this is the maintenance floor. So over here, bit of space, didn't know what to do with it. So I <clears throat> put a sign out, warning high voltage. And it kind of reminds me of one of them little power, like a mini power station for the building. And then here we have this part, which takes us through to the other side. Pioneers only. This is the maintenance side. This is where we're getting to the machines now. So this is where we make high speed connectors. Uh, here and further up, there is only four here making the high speed connectors. But there's another eight upstairs. So we have that and you can come out the other side which brings you to the other side of this floor and then you can go up again for the next maintenance area I still need to figure out what I want to do in this little space here um, again you got your view which is quite good and then you've got this door here and then you've got the little balcony here above the waterfall and then door on this side which brings us to our AI limiters as you can see they're all hard at work and because it's a maintenance area I haven't really decorated it much but I do want to so later on uh, I'll probably come back and finish all this up uh, we'll get to the reason for that later. Again, the waterfall room. This whole building was designed around this waterfall. And then we've got the other machines at the other side doing the AI limiters. Now, there is access to the top floor again. It's not finished. But when you come back here, there's this area here. And you can go up the ladders and it'll bring you to the rest of these manufacturers. And again, same as last time, you can walk around and get access to all of these. But again, unfinished. So speaking of unfinished, what we're going to be doing is uh, the next video or two is going to be like uh, a world cleanup. So bits that of buildings like this, uh, where it's not finished at the top, will be getting finished off. Uh, we also have started coming across a power problem. We are slowly running out of power. So I'm going to build a nuclear power station, which is going to require three new factories to make the parts for it um, but I can't just go ahead and build those factories as I wish to because we'll run out of power so they need to be put up quickly put together build the power station get the power running and then I will probably go back through each build sorting them all out so instead of doing three factories as videos and then doing the other two factories because there is two more there's the battery factory and there is the Caterium wire factory so there'll be five new factories plus a power station so I'm thinking of doing update videos instead of build videos like I have been doing this is the front of uh, AI Corp and we'll take a look around the back too. So this is the back of AI Corp. Again, you can see the top's just not quite finished. I wanted to get this video out because it's already late and I plan on doing some cleanup builds as well, tidying the whole world up and then maybe looking at uh, releasing it to Patreon so that it's downloadable. So yeah, that's AI Corp. 
doing our limiters and uh, high speed connectors. And I will see you in the next video.